The Chapter a Day Audio Bible is a listener-supported podcast. If you'd like to make a small gift to help us cover the cost of hosting and production, please click the crowdfunding link in this episode's description or visit us at desirejesus.com slash podcasts. You're listening to the Chapter a Day Audio Bible. I'm John Stonge, and today we're reading Psalms 19 and 20, and we'll be reading from the Contemporary English Version. A Psalm by David for the Music Leader The heavens keep telling the wonders of God, and the skies declare what He has done. Each day informs the following day. Each night announces to the next. They don't speak a word, and there is never the sound of a voice. Yet their message reaches all the earth, and it travels around the world. In the heavens a tent is set up for the sun. It rises like a bridegroom and gets ready like a hero, eager to run a race. It travels all the way across the sky. Nothing hides from its heat. The law of the Lord is perfect. It gives us new life. His teachings last forever. And they give wisdom to ordinary people. The Lord's instruction is right. It makes our hearts glad. His commands shine brightly, and they give us light. Worshiping the Lord is sacred. He will always be worshipped. All of His decisions are correct and fair. They are worth more than the finest gold, and are sweeter than honey from a honeycomb. By your teachings, Lord, I am warned. By obeying them, I am greatly rewarded. None of us know our faults. Forgive me when I sin without knowing it. Don't let me do wrong on purpose, Lord, or let sin have control over my life. Then I will be innocent and not guilty of some terrible fault. Let my words and my thoughts be pleasing to you, Lord, because you are my mighty rock and my protector. Psalm 20, a psalm by David for the music leader. I pray that the Lord will listen when you are in trouble and that the God of Jacob will keep you safe. May the Lord send help from His temple and come to your rescue from Mount Zion. May He remember your gifts and be pleased with what you bring. May God do what you want most and let all go well for you. Then you will win victories and we will celebrate while raising our banners in the name of our God. May the Lord answer all of your prayers. I am certain, Lord, that you will help your chosen king. You will answer my prayers from your holy place in heaven, and you will save me with your mighty arm. Some people trust the power of chariots or horses, but we trust you, Lord God. Others will stumble and fall, but we will be strong and stand firm. Give the king victory, Lord, and answer our prayers. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for your word, and we thank you for the privilege of being able to look at it together today. We're grateful, Lord, to have access to it, and we're grateful to be able to incorporate the listening to and the reading of your word in our daily routine. Lord, we're grateful for the reminders that we see in these passages of Scripture that we looked at today. Reminders that you are on your throne. Reminders that we need to live our lives in humble obedience toward you. Seeking your help and seeking your strength so that we don't live in willful rebellion against you. And Lord, we wrestle with sin in all kinds of ways and in all areas of our lives. It's very easy for us to go in a direction that doesn't honor you. It's very easy for us, Lord, to elevate the desires of our old nature over what you call us to live in, that being our new nature that we receive through faith in your Son, Jesus Christ, who has gifted us with his righteousness, who strengthens us with his power. And likewise, Lord, we know that we are being guided by your Holy Spirit. So we pray, Lord, that we would be obedient to you, that your prompting in our minds and in our hearts would be something that we would listen to. 
and that in each context of life that we find ourselves in, that we would put you first and show that you are truly honored as Lord of our lives. Lord, we're grateful for your presence with us today. We're grateful that we can come before your throne in prayer. And we pray this all in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you again for listening to the Chapter a Day Audio Bible. To download a free copy of my latest 30-day devotional, Desire Jesus, Volume 4, please visit us online at our new website, which is desirejesus.com, and you'll be able to download the book right from the front page of the website. Thanks again for listening, and we hope you have a wonderful day.